Thinking of playing a Cypher and Valorant, or already are, but aren't getting the most utilization out of this top tier agent? How can you get the most out of Cypher like the pros? What's up guys? Welcome to another video. If you're new here, we love dropping great tips, top 10s, and highlights on our channel. We're quickly growing and we appreciate all of our subscribers. If you're not already subscribed and you like the content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications by clicking or tapping that bell. Make sure to give this video a like and share it with friends. I'm Sam for Top Viral Gaming, and now let's get into today's video. We're going into detail about Cypher's abilities, and we're also giving you guys some advanced tips and tricks to use when playing as this Sentinel agent. Sentinels thrive in gathering information, and the more info you gather on enemy whereabouts, the better your team will be in counteracting against them. And this kind of information is crucial in Valorant. Cypher's abilities lean more into the support side of things rather than the aggressive type for battle. In my opinion, Cypher offers the best utility, and when he's complemented with a strong aggressive agent, the results are a lot of damage to multiple enemies. Let's take a look at his abilities now. Spy Cam. Cypher's ability Spy Cam is exactly that. A spy cam. When equipped in your hand, using crosshairs to aim, you're able to throw the spy cam and place it at your desired target. Once the spy cam is placed, you're able to take control of it. Look through it and shoot marking darts that reveal the location of any agent that is marked with one. There's only three ways your spy cam can be removed from the location in which you placed it. Those ways are, if you choose to pick it back up, it's destroyed, or if the round ends. So don't be worried about any kind of timer on this ability. To effectively use your spy cam, try placing it in places that enemies wouldn't normally think of the spy cam being. It's always an advantage to find new creative places to put your spy cam, so try holding it in your hand, jump around, and see where your target lets you place it. Always remember to switch up your spy cam's location from round to round to keep your opponents guessing and preventing yourself from becoming predictable. If enemies get familiar with your strategy, it will become very easy for them to destroy your spy cam. Now I mentioned that your spy cam shoots marking darts. It's very important to think about this strategically. Shoot an enemy with a marking dart and you could give away your spy cam's location. Sometimes you'll want to refrain from doing this and use your spy cam as a way of only looking through it to see which enemies are near. If you're busy in battle, don't worry. You don't even need to actually peer through the spy cam to see if an enemy is in the area. You can just look at the minimap on your HUD to see if an enemy is walking past your spy cam. Another creative way to use the spy cam is to peek angles with it. Place your spy cam near the corner, and if an enemy shoots it, well, they just told you that they are around the corner waiting for you. Trap wire. Trap wire is another piece of equipment in Cypher's arsenal that can help you greatly in knowing where an enemy is. When you equip trap wire in your hand, much like spy cam, you get to fire it to your desired location and place a trip wire between two walls. When an enemy agent crosses your trap wire, they'll be marked, revealed, and stunned. Now I mentioned that trap wires go from wall to wall, but that's not entirely true. They can also go from floor to ceiling, so that gives players a creative way to use this ability. Keep in mind that trap wire isn't infinite in length. It does have a maximum limit, so try to keep it between two points that can connect. It's also important to place your trap wire slightly off the ground, as agents are able to jump over it. But if you place it too high, agents can sneak under it. So try placing it at a height where enemies can't do either of those things, jump over it or sneak under it. But what if an enemy sees your trap wire and just destroys it? Well, don't worry. They just gave away their location, and that's a vital piece of information that can give you a huge edge. Trap wires can also be used to block flanks. This shows that this can be used both offensively and defensively. Put these in spots where you think the enemy will be running. Remember that if the enemy is walking slow, they're more prone to seeing the trap wire. Also, try to find better places than around corners. Corners are the most obvious places to see these devices. Try setting your trap wire down and peek the second your trap wire hits an enemy, so they don't have enough time to react. Of course, this requires you to be somewhat hidden from the enemy's view. Quick question for you guys. Do you think Cypher is a must-have on every team going into a matchup? If you think so, hit that like button to let us know. If you disagree, let us know why in the comments down below. Now, let's get back to more of Cypher's abilities. Cyber Cage. Cypher has the ability to toss a cyber cage in front of him, which creates a zone that slows enemy movement and obscures their vision whenever they enter the area. It's similar to Jet's Cloudburst in Phoenix's Blaze, which we'll cover in future guides on this channel. But Cypher's Cyber Cage lasts longer than both of those other abilities. The best thing about Cyber Cage is that you can activate it remotely from a distance. It's a great way to be deceitful, making your enemies think you're in one spot when in actuality you're in another. A great way to use Cyber Cage while engaged in a battle is to throw it down to create some distance and cover from your opponent. It can also be used to break up an encounter, pushing the enemies back a bit while offering some support to your lower health teammates, helping them get away. Now I mentioned that Cyber Cage obscures your opponent's vision, but don't worry. While you're inside the zone, you'll be able to see just fine. Use this to your advantage. The slow effect the Cyber Cage creates can also be activated even when an enemy player comes close to the edge of the Cyber Cage. 
When activated, a noise will sound, indicating your cyber cage caught an enemy player. Use this alert to act fast, and quickly get rid of the enemy when they're slowed to get the most out of the cage. A technique great players utilize with cyber cage is to combine it with trap wire. Place your trap wire down and then put your cyber cage next to it. Once an enemy player hits your trap wire and you're alerted to it, immediately activate the cyber cage. If the ends of the trap wire are outside the cyber cage, it'll make it even harder for enemy players to get rid of the trap wire. Another technique we've seen that's very popular with the cyber cage is placing them on a platform higher than your sight line. By doing this, you can shoot the enemy's lower body, all the while they'll be unable to see you through the cyber cage. You can also combine cyber cage with spy cam. Use your spy cam to look for when enemies are near your cyber cage. Once you see them enter the zone, activate your cyber cage right away. The utilization doesn't end there with cyber cage. Another awesome way to use this ability is by blocking the enemy sniper's field of view or to protect your spike planner. If you want to try a more aggressive tactic, you can use the cyber cage to force attackers into pushing into a blind room. Make sure your team is in unpredictable places, and when they push, activate this instantly. Neural Theft Neural Theft is Cypher's ultimate ability. It can be used on dead enemy players within your range, which then reveals the location of all living enemy players. However, it's important to know that this ultimate can only be used within 20 seconds from when an enemy player is eliminated. There will be a progress bar over their body, letting you know if you're able to use the ability on them or not. The one knock on Neural Theft is that it doesn't really follow the enemy as they move around. It only tells you and your team the position of the enemy agents at the time the ability is activated. This makes the ability useful only when you're able to act quickly when you receive that information. Whether you're tracking down the remaining enemy agents, going on a 5v1, or being cautious of planting, this ability is by far one of the most useful abilities in Valorant. Before we go on, we want to thank you for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click or tap that bell to get notified about our latest videos. Also, hit that like button. This lets us know that you want to see more content just like this. Additional tips. When using any of Cypher's abilities, it's important to remember your placing and to avoid becoming predictable. Your goal playing as Cypher is to make sure you set up your devices in the right spot throughout the match. Don't stick with placing these devices in an area of the map that just isn't paying off for you and your team. Switch it up every now and then. Remember, you can pick up these devices, so make sure you're always moving them around throughout the round. Of course, if one spot is secret enough and is highly beneficial to how you're playing, then stay put. But again, don't be too predictable. A fantastic way to play a Cypher is by locking down a site. The utility that Cypher has is enough to let your team focus on one site, while the other is totally covered with a spy cam and a bunch of trap wires covering for you. Don't be afraid to help push as well. Most of Cypher's skills depend on placement, but you can always shift your strategy to play a more aggressive style. Try to get in the mindset of the enemy player. Think about where you would expect there to be traps, and don't put them there. Don't be afraid to use your abilities to bait enemy agents. Using your abilities as bait will not only let you know where enemies are, but also how to deal with them if you can think and act quickly. Be the most active during the preparation time. With Cypher, a big advantage comes down to what you do during the prep time. Try to think ahead and envision what kind of plays you want to set up and where you need your devices to be placed in order to make that play come to fruition. As a player, having great communication skills with your teammates will allow you to really maximize how you play a Cypher. You need to be able to make great callouts and let your team know what trap wires have been activated and broken. This can easily make or break the game. Make sure to be strategic all the way through. We also strongly recommend watching some pro players play a Cypher. Watch where they put their spy cams, what they do with their trap wires, how they communicate, their reaction and responses to what goes on with their abilities, and also whatever is happening around them. This is what it takes to be a Cypher main, along with some tricks that can help you improve your game. Let us know in the comments down below if these tips and tricks have helped you in your game. Check out our other videos. Be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell to be notified about our latest videos.